Eric Stratton College is in Rochester, New York. Um, we we all know what that starting starting out at a minimum wage job uh, and making a big decision and knowing that you're going to change your life and your lives have been changed. What does your life look like now as opposed to what it looked like when you were working for Wendy's and McDonald's in those minimum wage shops? Oh, sure. Great question. Um, I start with before. So prior getting into the whole project and getting my certifications, I was living with my father. Um, I had an old beat down car, um, very minimal travel, anything, really didn't do anything, just really did what I had to do to survive on government assistance. Now I have my own place. Um, my son is spoiled. He's a spoiled, <laughs> he's spoiled. I have, you know, a newer car. Um, I'm able to travel, I'm able to save money. I'm able, like now I actually go back and mentor um, and go back and talk to the recent students um, that's enrolled or whatever else. Just having a different mental state, honestly, where in the beginning, I'm just trying to survive. Now I'm trying to help everybody else be successful. So, hope that, thank you for so some of you guys know from me speaking in the past, but hope is not it's not just the word hope, it means something. Hope stands for helping other people excel. And what that means is everybody's gonna make it. If you ain't a hope project, that's our mentality, everyone's gonna make it. I've had graduates come to me and say, Mr. B, I've had four jobs at IT. Every single job I went to, there's always been at least one person from Hope Project already on that help desk or work in that environment. And it was like having a brother or a sister there with you. So the more you guys can build communities, the more people end up getting certified. The better their attendance will be. I'm going to continue that thing because I, I don't see it enough in the, in the schools and the training environment. But the more we do that, the better off we're going to be. So what's your life like now? Well, before the Hope Project, I was working at Wendy's. I was living with my dad too. Um, I had food stamps. I didn't have um, a first of my check or anything like mm -hmm. that. But I did have food stamps. Um, now I have my own apartment. I just got a second car. Um, <laughs> my first car, I bought my car. My car was brand new. I bought it straight off the lot. Only person that ever owned it. That's my baby. Um, and it's the same thing. You know, I'm able to save. I, I, I don't even qualify for government assistance anymore. You know, I have. Bam. <laughs> Say that one more time. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I can't. I can't get anything. Um, <laughs> it's not. It's not easy. But I can. I can maintain on my own. I don't. I don't need help from anybody, honestly. You know, I don't have to. We go on somewhere. If my, you know, my mother's on something or my family's on something, I can contribute now versus being someone that's just tagging along just to get whatever it is, like handouts. Mm -hmm. I don't need that anymore. Cool, right. girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I went from, I guess, having to find jobs all the time, like find a job here, find a job there, find a job there, I don't like it, gotta go find another job. Not having no money to, yesterday I lost my wallet, it was over $100 in the wallet, and I was mad that I couldn't get my ID because I thought I wasn't gonna be able to come in here. Versus <laughs> <laughs> $100. Versus $100, I was like, man, I ain't care about the money, I just want my ID. I love it, I love it. But yeah, I got a new car, um, I, all, I, I, I've had a place, but I was able to, Get new furniture when I don't like my furniture. <laughs> um, new beds for me, my son. New clothes. He want to go out and get stuff. I don't have a problem with it now. Before he used to make me mad when he wants stuff, but now I can afford it. I love the honesty, right? <laughs> so, again, we want to hear from the group. We got one in the back. <laughs> 